Previous versions of Cubase have come with a drum sampler called Groove Agent 1, but Cubase 7.5 has a brand new and really updated version of Groove Agent called Groove Agent SE4, and it's got some amazing new features. So let's go ahead and add a new rack instrument in the drum category from the Groove Agent SE. And then it will ask us if we want to assign a MIDI track for Groove Agent SE, and we will. So I'll hit Create, and then I'll make sure that I have the Record button enabled on that track. And if you've used Groove Agent before, it was always kind of the Bondy Blue stepchild of the uh, instruments inside of Cubase 7. But in 7.5, Groove Agent SE4 has a brand new, crisp, dark look that looks very, very similar, in fact, to Halion Sonic and Halion Sonic SE. So a lot of the controls are going to be much more integrated. You're not going to have to hunt around with different looking menus. They're very, very uniform among all of the VST instruments, including Groove Agent. So let's get a lay of the land first. You've got 16 different pads that you can see over here, and upon each pad you can have multiple different samples split at different velocity layers. But you don't have only 16 pads, because you've got 8 pad banks with 16 pads each. So it defaults to the third pad group. So now if we wanted to load some sounds onto these pads, we would load a kit. And I'll show you my favorite method for loading the kit. I'm going to come up here to the kit window, and I'm going to right or control click and select load kit. And then let's go ahead and load up the ambient kit number one. And what's going to happen is all of those samples that comprise that kit are going to be loaded onto these pads. Now let's take a quick look at what these pads have on them. Now let's listen to the sounds on each of those pads. Here's a kick drum. Here's a, another kick drum. Here's a snare drum. Here's a hand clap, and since this is an electronic kit, these all sound like the old electronic drum sets. Now if we wanted to play these sounds from a MIDI keyboard, we could do that, or I actually have the Steinberg CMC PD pad controller, so I could play those pads right from my controller. So by recording notes onto the associated MIDI track, you could use Groove Agent SE as a standard VST instrument. But you not only have kits that come with Groove Agent SE, you also have pattern banks. So if we come down here, you'll see that there's a switch between the instrument mode and pattern mode. So when we come here, we can drop down this little box and choose different patterns from Beat Agent SE. So let's click this little carrot button and we will go to, let's see, let's just make it easy and load up the Electro Kit Grooves. And you'll notice that the pads themselves, when you're in pattern mode, show you which pattern is going to play when you press each pad. But bear in mind that the MIDI note number assignments on the pattern pads are different from those of the instrument pads. You can see here that we have G sharp number one as the first pad that will play this first groove. So these are going to be notes lower on a standard keyboard. So if you wanted to play that first groove from one MIDI keystroke, you would just play G sharp minus one. And you can see that clock going around. That is an eight beat loop. We'll go for groove two. And I'm getting that by typing A minus one. A sharp minus one gets us groove three. So by recording these note numbers onto the associated MIDI track, you'll be able to get the patterns that play those instruments. But then you'll notice that there's a color difference between the bottom pads and the upper pads. In this particular pattern bank, we also have the individual components of those patterns. So if I type E0 on my keyboard or on my pad controller, I just get the bass drum pattern. And then if I wanted to add the snare drum number one up there on the top row, that would be A sharp zero. And then B zero plays the hi-hats. And for good measure, let's add the hand claps. So 
So when you record those notes onto the associated MIDI track, you'll be able to play back all of those grooves. So I urge you to go through all of the different types of kits and all of the pattern banks from down here in the Beat Agent SE folder and go through some of those patterns. There's some really amazing stuff in there. Now let's come back to the instruments for just a moment because I want to show you some other new features that they've added. These 16 sounds that comprise this particular kit are all editable over here. We have the main group where we can actually do the sample editing. We can alter the pitch, the filter, amplifier, the sample, and slicing of that sample for each individual instrument. But let me show you a really cool thing that they've added. You also have different playback modes. For example, if I select this bass drum pad, then I can come over here and choose the playback quality. Normally the playback quality is in standard mode, so you get full fidelity. But because Groove Agent SE is designed like an older drum machine style sampler, like an Akai MPC, you have different playback qualities too. So on that kick drum, we can either play it back at full quality, or we can also choose a vintage playback quality, which is a 12-bit playback, or a turntable style output, which mimics that of vinyl records. And if you wanted to apply that playback quality to all of the different pads all at once, just do a Control or Command A on your computer keyboard. That will select all of the pads. Now you can come over to the playback quality and choose the vintage standard. So I'm going to get that groove playing again, and let's listen to some of those different playback qualities. We'll start with standard. See how some of the high end just got rolled off and it, the output got a little bit gritty? Well, that's because 12-bit doesn't sound nearly as high fidelity as 16, 24, or 32-bit. So now let's go to the turntable mode. Gets even lower quality. So you can assign that playback quality to any pad or all of the pads all at once. Not only that, let's go back to the vintage mode and let's talk about the different filter types. You've got a whole bunch of different categories when it comes to filters, including tube, overdrive, and hard clipping. But one of my favorites is the rate reduction. When you do this, it's going to lower the sample rate even further. So now we can choose a different filter shape, and you can see that you've got a lot of different filter shapes here, but we'll go with the low pass 12 dB per octave filter, and then we'll adjust the distortion, and you'll start to hear that sample rate being reduced. so that you can really, really make it sound like an old, old drum machine. You also have filter cutoff and resonance. And all of those controls certainly are automatable. And then the effect processors have also been beefed up dramatically. When you go into the mixer, you see that you have four different effect slots for the entire kit, plus you have four auxiliary sends and a master effect section. So in any of those effect slots, you can assign any of the 27 different effect processors and use them on either aux sends, the kit, or the master output. So I would recommend going through all of these different effects and seeing how they can enhance the output of Groove Agent SE4. And then there's one more thing I'm going to show you, and that is how the drum mapping works in Cubase 7.5, because they've really done a nice job with this. And I still have its associated MIDI track selected, but when I come over here to the drum map, watch, there's a new feature called Create Drum Map from Instrument. What this is going to do is assign all of the sounds that are on the pads of Groove Agent SE and put them into the MIDI editor. So that way, if you come in and you wanted to record, let's just make a little blank recording right here. If we wanted to come into the drum editor, look, all of the sounds in the drum editor are now listed in the instrument column. There's no more guessing about which note plays what sound. Instead, you get all of the sounds assigned to the pads of Groove Agent SE. If you did want to know the pitch, they're right here but it's much easier to take a look at the name of each instrument of the pad when you're designing your patterns here in the drum editor.
So that's Groove Agent SE4. It's a major upgrade to Groove Agent. And next, let's talk about Loop Mash Effects.